Hi guys, I'm Julie. I climbed Duns River Falls three times, once when I was 11, again at age 13, and this past year at age 26. So here's my quick guide to everything you need to know to climbing the falls. Duns River Falls is probably the top attraction in Jamaica, so you won't have any problem finding an excursion to take you there. Since my whole family went, we decided to rent our own private driver, who also then guided us up the falls. You're required to have a guide to climb the falls, and honestly, you're gonna be so thankful you have them. They're there to ensure you get up safely, and they know the falls like the back of their hand. They're gonna tell you exactly where to step, which route to take, and help you through any trickier areas. And they seriously know everything about the falls. It was insane to see how they knew exactly where rocks were underneath deep water. A common technique you'll see on the falls is having groups hold hands, and this just helps everybody keep their balance on their way up. The employees actually scrub the rocks every morning, so not nearly as slippery as you would expect. However, you should still definitely wear water shoes. Some people in my group bought the cheap water shoes on the side of the road, or some had water sneakers, and then I wore my Chacos. And honestly, they all worked about the same. <laughs> There were a few questionable sections of the falls, but for the most part, I was surprised at how easy it was. Our group made it up in an hour and a half. If you're mildly fit, you really shouldn't have any problem. Remember, I did this back when I was 11, and my parents this time around were 60. Just as a heads up, you will get fully submerged in water. There's parts of the waterfall that level out to waist high pools that you have to walk through. So of course, wear whatever you're comfortable with, but I would recommend a swimsuit. You can leave your clothes in the car, or there's lockers on site. Do bring your waterproof camera, but make sure that you can secure it somehow so that you can be hands-free when you're climbing. The guides are more than happy to take your pictures for you, and they know all the best spots. Some other quick tips. To avoid crowds, check what days cruise ships visit the island, and avoid planning your trip for that day. There's a bunch of vendors set up as you leave the falls, so if you want to do any shopping, this is your time to grab those souvenirs. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy your time in Jamaica.